I got to do my intro, Barbarossa, so try not to laugh too much. I'll mute myself. <laughs> no, <it's> <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, guys? What's Pay up? Play here, and today I've got Stone Midgets and Barbarossa, <laughs> and we're going to talk about things that they're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Cut. No. Uh, all right. Joined here by Barbarossa and Stone Midgets some frequent flyers here in the light night community and let's go over this elixir platform for you guys i don't know if uh you can see this but the elixir platform is going through some some changes and they're going to be releasing it says up at the top the battle royale is coming very soon here which man i'm pumped for that that's gonna be something right there what do you guys think about this? Oh yeah, yeah. They're just polishing her up, making sure it's as bug-free as possible because you know they only want to do it once. They don't want to have to sit there and update it every single week. You know what I mean? Just because they released it, they'd rather just finish it and then release it. In Light Night and Survival, they're both by Satoshi Games. Is Satoshi Games the developer of Elixir? Uh yes. And there's different dev teams on each game as well. I know that. Okay, yeah, that's down here. We can see some of the upcoming games. I see that Guns and Runs, Whisper of Soul, and 2140. They all have different developers. I see that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so why. 2140 is from uh, Ace Moisen in Discord. Um, Running Guns is y Yiori in Discord. Whisper of Soul is Ray Extreme. Those are the dev team members for that. And then uh, there's some new games coming too. That's what I'm talking about. You guys just have some extreme knowledge on this. And this Elixir platform is it's going to become the new Steam. And if Yeah, it's going to be crazy. If Steam doesn't do something like start accepting some crypto payments or some kind of blockchain technology in their platform, this is going to this is going to take over for sure. So I heard uh 2040 uh 2140 that um that this is a zombie survival game and I don't know if we could talk about this but Stone yeah. Midgets, you've played this already? Yeah, Stone uh, yeah. Stone is going to be I'm, your leading authority on that one. Leading authority. I'm, I'm working very close with Ace Meisen, um to, to to provide much much more content in the game than than what there is already. Um, it's very much based off other zombie type games, uh, without name dropping any of them. As you can see there on the screen, it tells you it's got a pack a punch, juggernaut, it's got a thunder gun and a lightsaber. Uh, there's there's a lot of content to come from it. Uh, as it stands, it's as it's low poly. Uh, the graphics ain't ain't the best in the world, but that's what low poly is. It uh, like removes the the finer details to allow you to have a better gameplay. Um, there are various weapons of, at all different prices. Um, you pay for the weapons with um, XP that you earn throughout the game. Uh, you've got various collectibles that you got to pick up uh, around the map to be able to to make things, uh, to, to craft things, to to complete missions. Um, we got a release date on this, or uh, he's just pushed it back um, another month. Uh, he's looking as it stands. He's looking the end of September, but I don't think he's read the the update that I sent over to him um, with all the bugs that I've been identifying um see, I see you on. get you got private access to this game that's awesome that's awesome yeah the b team and a, sele a select few other people have got um pre-order access um what about whisper of soul what you guys get any like bug testing on that or nothing no comes with them as yet uh, yeah i haven't gotten anything for it either no I want to say they're, they're tightening up. You know, generally what they try to do is they try to tighten everything up as, as much as possible. And then they get, you know, the B team to go through it, which is the, the bug team. And just try to wreak as much havoc as possible. You know what I mean? Just try to break, just break anything and everything that you can. Try to get under the map. Try to, you know, just 
break the game miles above the it, 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 exactly and then you know once we go through the entire game and we try to break as many things as possible every time we break something we write it down send it over to the dev team and then the dev team you know i, I know everybody doesn't see what goes on in the background which you know we don't either it's not like we have you know some kind of special access to anything but they you know they, they they work super hard they they get as much done as fast as they possibly can and what they try to do is instead of just immediately putting out an update that fixes it they try to fix as many things as possible and then do it in in, in a bigger update so they get bigger chunks of, of the you know game and all the new downloads and everything up easier instead of having to you know, work on something 10 times because they just wanted to get it out faster. We wanted to fix something. You know what I mean? They try to make it as, as rock solid as possible. And that's why I think this is one of the best dev teams to, you know, be able to watch work is because they're small, you know, there's not a hundred of them. They're, they're a small group of guys and, you know, they just work their ass off. Well, and I just want to clarify for everybody that's watching this too, that the we're talking with the B team right now and the B team is, a special group within the discord and you know I, i'm i'm grateful like y'all. well I'm, I'm and i'm grateful to be able to talk with you guys too about this stuff and i thank you for your time as well i was gonna play a little bit of the video from 2140 but yeah that that's why we got dedicated uh we got a dedicated team working on this platform and if you guys want to get in on something early that's gonna be just blowing up and massive there's huge potential for this stuff and everything in the blockchain gaming space is already kind of, you know, you've either missed the boat or, you know, it's it's a little it's hard to join in because everything's just in in uh, inflamed with price. And this this project right here, we're still th- building the battleship, boys. Yeah, this project you you have not left. The boat has not left the dock yet. You guys are in it. Well, you know, if since you like using boats, you got to look at it like this. You know, a lot of these games are not not Satoshi's games, but a lot of these other blockchain games that are out there that you can earn these liquidity pool coins and you know these shit coins and stuff like that. And, and exactly. let's not go into exactly coins, whatever. But yeah, it, it's they just don't understand that like anybody can launch that. You know, we 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 could make a pay to play coin if you want to and launch it. You know what I mean? It's it's not that difficult. But, I was thinking about that. But, <laughs> uh, we, we can talk about that another time. But uh, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 point that Satoshi Games has really put behind this is that the currency is already there, so they want to build fun games that people enjoy playing, and then they'll start working on the earning mechanics. You know what I mean? Because uh, the number one complaint that I see all the time is how much can we earn? How much can we earn? Games are for fun. You know, uh, the this whole new each game needs to pay me, you know, enough to pay my house note and stuff like like people need to get real for a second. You know what I mean? Like this stuff takes development. But whenever hey, they the finish potential's these games, there. The potential is oh, there dude, for that. Dude, potential is nuts. Absolutely. And and there's just there, there's so much stuff coming to the market that is gonna change the market and bring value to the skins, like the common skins, for instance. You know, every everybody keep saying well the common skins are, are worthless you know everybody's selling them for super cheap and everything like that what they're not realizing and it's open information is that the covid mini game and the ability to farm nfts like we've been doing is not going to be there forever it's a limited time thing and all of these common skins will be capped you know they'll, they'll, they'll have a, a cap supply and once that happens we all know what happens with cap supplies they go up and they you know they're going to they're talking about implementing burning mechanisms into the game and everything like that so everything's only going to get more rare as as time goes on so i mean right now everybody's too focused on the amount of money that they're trying to make and you know it, this this company and and whatnot has from what my experience of, about them is they care more about fun and earning second you know what i mean they they like earning don't get me wrong but it comes second to fun you know they they're trying to build a fun community and fun games that people enjoy playing and once that happens then the money will come but they're 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 a great group of guys and they have a real vision for what's going on here they're not just you know sitting back and and making games just to make games i mean these guys actually care about what they're doing and they care about crypto and i think that's what's the coolest Absolutely. part about it i i wouldn't mind once uh trying to live stream and do an ama ask me anything where we got some people in here that we just sit down and we talk about it and we 
we talk about the future of this platform because it is limitless and there is no there's no cap on this just like you were saying so it's basically what they want to do from the way i i hear it is they are not only releasing just their games on this platform you know what i mean there's other games from other dev companies from other you know that have no association with satoshi's games as far as you know business goes they're just simply you know bringing them onto the elixir platform just like steam would with any other game i mean these the vision that these guys have is huge yeah can i point something out as well um one of the games that's that's on their guns and runs is by Statera Studio. Uh, it's one of multiple games that they've made, and it's been released on another on another platform uh, f- for quite some time. And they've brought it over for Bitcoin implementation, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but it's logical that they've brought it over for Bitcoin integration. Uh, this is uh, the one that created. 2140 or is that what i was getting no 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 oh. completely separate oh, yeah that's that, a okay. completely separate guy okay okay i so see so if the integration of it works well i imagine they would bring their other games over and integrate as well oh they they have their own set of games over here at satara studio ours is that what i'm getting from that yeah yeah they've um only two seconds. I'll, I'll pull it uh, there. I see their so, website right here. I can pull it up too. Yeah, that that's Yuri Bravery. That's another if I'm one. saying his name right. Rocket Bravery. This looks interesting, huh? I didn't even look at this. I haven't even seen this before. Yeah, dude. There, there's all kinds of stuff coming. Yeah, you know, that, they're, that they're makes trying, a lot of they're, sense. They're, talking about a mobile version of elixir you know oh, so yeah. we, can, we can run the market on our phones and everything like that you know they they have a big vision it's just they're you know they're literally having to build everything themselves so whenever you know people gotta to kind of learn how to be patient with things because i mean programming is crazy you know especially if you have to build everything from the ground up that well, that is true. That is true. This I'm I'm looking at the mobile app too that they're talking about, and that that's gonna bring it to a wide range of people because more people have phones than they do have computers and stuff. So if they can actually get some games too that are mobile, which I doubt, I I don't doubt that they're gonna be able to do that. But that's just gonna open up this this market to a wide range of people. It brings NFT to the masses. Yeah, so like I said, guys, if you want something to get in early on something, I wouldn't be surprised too. Maybe if, uh, yeah, this this takes off sooner than you expect too. So, absolutely. Well, let's. Uh, how long we've been doing this for? I, I want to thank you guys for the time too. I try not to keep my videos too long, but like I said, we should do uh, an AMA sometime where. Maybe even get the developer or the owner, Whitey Hat, and we... Yeah, that, that's the way to go is we just, do a, you know, talk to him and then you can see what I'm talking about, about how, like, you know, his, his vision's huge. All of their visions are huge. We could all get on there once and, and sit in a chat and answer some questions with uh, the viewers or then I can make a video about it and try to get it out to people, but yeah. All right, gentlemen. Feel free to come play with us any time, man. I'll have a word with Ace and see if, if he'll do one with you as well, about 21. Yeah, then I can uh, just do a, yeah, that sounds good. All right, well, I'm going to end it there. And then uh, if you guys want to join the Discord, I'll leave all the links and stuff in the description. So you guys got access to this. And I'm sure if you want to get Light Night too, there's plenty of people in there that you can ask for the referral link and you can get a nice little discount and... Uh, 500 sets, uh, free NFT. So that's that's a great deal and totally worth the $16 investment. If everybody wants to look at it as an investment, you know, it, like I said, it, it, we're here to play for fun and earn at the same time. And you know, the the money and everything that that comes second, but the earning mechanics are there. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, well, I'm gonna end it there.